Today we're breaking down nine must-know John Bonham grooves that he recorded with Led Zeppelin. And we were talking with Ron Danette and he was kind enough to loan us this gorgeous Ludwig Danette John Bonham Memorial Kit from 2004, which you're gonna get to hear in this video and I'm super excited to play. So, let's get right into the first groove. So to start off, we're looking at the track Good Times, Bad Times, and this was really the very first time the world ever heard John Bonham on record. And this track just blew everyone away. So let's break down what's happening here. We've got a right hand playing over here on the cowbell as mostly eighth notes, but also some 16th notes happening in bars two and four. Again, this is just a four bar phrase from verse one, and you're gonna hear a bunch of other ideas happening throughout the song. We've also got some bass drum doubles played as triplets on the kick drum, and also some eighth notes happening on the hi-hats with the left foot. So here's what the whole groove sounds like up at 95 BPM, which is album tempo. Next up, we're looking at the opening track from Led Zeppelin III, Immigrant Song, which is one of Bonham's most famous drum grooves. This one has a really syncopated 16th note kick pattern, and the whole groove sounds like this. Here we're looking at the song Achilles Last Stand off of the album Presence, and this drum track is a favorite among drummers. Bonham's playing on this track is just brilliant. There's a lot of energy and forward motion that he creates throughout the tune. And the phrase we're gonna look at here is actually taken from verse six, but this idea is used in all of the verse sections. So it's four bars long, there's some quick bass drum figures. Check out the whole pattern here. Here we're looking at the song Ramble On off of Led Zeppelin II. This is the chorus groove that you hear Bonham play with a whole bunch of offbeat syncopated bass drums. And these line up with John Paul Jones' bass part just perfectly. The other thing you'll notice, at the end of this two bar phrase, there's just a bunch of ghost notes. Sometimes he'll play a bass drum there, just depending on the section of the song. Check it out, this is the whole groove up to tempo. Here we're looking at a track off of Houses of the Holy. This is the opening song on the record called The Song Remains the Same. It's played at a pretty quick tempo. There's some loose hi-hats being played with a quarter note pulse, some syncopated kick happening, and there's a whole bunch of ideas happening throughout the track that are kind of variations on this main hi-hat groove. So check it out, this is the groove up to tempo. So finally, we're at a track from Led Zeppelin IV or the untitled album for you true fans out there. And this is the track When the Levee Breaks, probably one of the most controversial and most debated Led Zeppelin tracks out there. So we rolled up and it had this uh, big lobby 
with stairs going up to landings, kind of like a hotel lobby or something, you know, smaller hotel. And I got a couple of M160s, which are very directional bio mics, double ribbon. I put those about halfway up the first set of stairs and compressed the crap out of them. We also had a thing called a Binson Ecorec, which is tough to find now, but it's a delay device. You can make a sound fairly easily with, with anything. And it was the first time I'd really heard Bonzo's drums sound like they did when he stood next to them. And it was the first time he didn't complain either. Because <laughs> when I got that sound, that was my first reaction. Jesus, he's actually going to be happy at last. Now, without any effects, this is the groove that Bonham actually played on the recording. And if you don't believe me, I challenge you to go do some of your own research. Here's what the groove sounds like up to tempo. Now when Bonham played the song live with the band, he would still add in the kick on the E of beat one, which you hear produced by the delay on the record. And he'd also add in some extra backbeats. And later in the intro, you'll hear some ghost notes and other embellishments as well. Next up, we're looking at the track In My Time of Dying from the album Physical Graffiti. There's a whole bunch of really cool drum parts on this track. This specific one is from the interlude before verse three. There's some over the bar line snare fills, some syncopated kick patterns that line up with the guitar and the bass. And all of it ends with a bar of 9-8, so make sure you watch out for that too. This is what the whole thing sounds like, check it out. Here's another track from Physical Graffiti. This is Trampled Underfoot, and clearly this track is inspired by Stevie Wonder and some other funk music that was happening in the early 70s. This song became part of Led Zeppelin's touring set from 1975 right up until 1980. And the funk groove we're looking at here is from the verses. There's some loose hi-hats happening, some doubles on the kick. This is what the whole thing sounds like. So, the one you've all been waiting for, the drum intro from the song Rock and Roll off of Led Zeppelin IV. This drum intro came directly from the 1957 recording of Keep a Knockin' by Little Richard, which would be a tribute to the early rock music that the band grew up listening to. After a short jam, the band took just 15 minutes to arrange the entire song before hitting record. And according to Andy Johns, the recording engineer, this track was pretty tough to record just because of how open Bonham played the hi-hats and of course how loud the rest of the kit was too. But clearly it all worked out and we have this super famous John Bonham drum intro, which is just a classic. So that's a wrap for this lesson on John Bonham drum grooves. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a few new ones yourself. Now I'd love to hear from you, which was your favorite that we went over in this lesson and what are some other John Bonham grooves you'd like to see broken down? Inside of Drumeo, we also have the entire Led Zeppelin discography transcribed note for note. So if you wanna learn more about any of these songs we went over here or any other songs in the Led Zeppelin catalog, you can check those out on the Drumeo site. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.